Hey everybody, Jeremy here from Video Editor Studio and today I'm going to share with you how to make your talking head video more dynamic in DaVinci Resolve. So if you're ready, let's check it out. Alright, so the first way to make like a talking head point like this one more dynamic is to use push in zoom. You're basically switching from that original angle to something that's a bit more push in and basically switching between those two will help you make the video a bit more dynamic and feel like there is two camera and that can just help you emphasize some point in your video. All right, so to do that, you can go over to effect, effect, and then here adjustment clip, you can just drag it right above your clip, then extend that adjustment clip to the area that you want to cover on your clip. And then here in the inspector, you can just go to zoom and adjust the zoom. You can also adjust the position, which I will recommend to just keep the eyes aligned on the same line. To do that, it's very simple. You're gonna just bring a new adjustment clip in your timeline. We're just gonna drag it on top on track number three, and then we're just gonna extend it to the entire part where we want the guideline to appear. Then we're just gonna go over to open effects, search for grid, and we're just gonna drag that grid onto that adjustment clip. Now we can go over to effect, and then we're just gonna reduce the row cell to two, and here we're gonna adjust the column cell to zero. Now we can go over to our first clip, not the second one, and then go here to the tilt and just align that to the eyes. So here we're just covering up the eyes with that line. And now when we're going over to our second adjustment clip, we've now made our zoom and we can just adjust here the position to make sure that the eyes are lining up with that line. And then you can either delete or disable your guidelines. So here I'm just gonna disable my grid and here we go. The second technique is to use a quick zoom. So the first one with the pushing, we're just straight up going from one angle to another. With the quick zoom, you can see the change happening from the two angles. So we're going from the first angle and then we're keyframing to the second angle. This, in my opinion, shouldn't be used too much. It's just there to emphasize a point when there is something important that you want to highlight in the video. Once again, you can do this by bringing an adjustment clip here in your timeline. Then you can go over to Fusion. In Fusion, just make sure that you're on the adjustment clip here and not on the original clip. That's just very important. Then here, I'm gonna select my media in. It's shift space on my keyboard. Search for transform, bring that in. I'm gonna drop a keyframe on the position and the size, and then I'm gonna go at frame 24. Here, make sure that my transform is selected. It's shift space on my keyboard and bring a grid. Again, to make sure that it will be properly aligned with my eyes. So here, row cell, we're gonna do two and column cell we can go down to zero. Then I can just bring the tilt up to my eyes. And now going back to the transform, we're just gonna zoom into the video and adjust the position to lining up with the eyes. Also always make sure to have a tiny bit of headroom when you do your zoom so your head isn't crop. Then I'm just gonna delete my grid and we're gonna smooth out that zoom. So here I'm just gonna close my clip and close my inspector just to have some space and here open the spline, select my transform, zoom to fit, select all the keyframe points that we just dropped, hit S on our keyboard, then hit T to bring the ease in and ease out and bring the ease in up to 85. If you want to zoom out at the end of your adjustment clip, just repeat the same process, but reversed. And that's how you can create a quick zoom. And the third technique is to use a continuous zoom in or a continuous zoom out. Those can be used in a different way when, for example, you're going into a tangent just to emphasize that it's a different point from the main video. You could just have that zoom to just make it feel like it's a bit different. You could use it in a comedic way or you could use it when you have a long point that doesn't have so much gesture or that doesn't have a lot of change in your voice. So it's hard to use the push in properly and you rather just having a bit of movement with a continuous zoom, for example. You can achieve that effect very easily with a dynamic zoom function inside of the inspector. For dynamic zoom, you can just apply it directly to your clip here in the inspector by toggling up dynamic zoom. But I would recommend using an adjustment clip because that will just make it easier to use. Here I'm just going to bring the adjustment clip and drag it over the section where I want that zoom to happen and then going to select the adjustment clip and then here toggle dynamic zoom and by default we have actually a zoom out. You can easily change that by opening the dynamic zoom and here click swap and instead of having a zoom out now you will have a zoom in. You can also adjust the animation type by choosing between four different types: linear, ease in, ease out, ease in and ease out. In most cases because you want to have a continuous zoom I think just keeping it with linear is good because you will just keep a constant zoom and a constant speed. You can control the zoom amount and the zoom position by going over here into the viewer option and then selecting dynamic zoom. It will enable access to those two frames, the green frame and the red frame. 
the animation will start from the green frame and end on the red frame. So then you can easily adjust the frame to be your starting point. Then here, move the frame around if necessary. And then click the red frame and do the exact same thing here if you want to zoom in and then move the frame around. Hey everybody, Jeremy here from Video to Studio. And again here, if we click swap, it will just swap between the green and the red frame to just show you that it will either zoom in or zoom out. Hey everybody, Jeremy here from Video to Studio. And that's how you can do a continuous zoom in DaVinci Resolve. All right, that's very much it. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to let me know in the comment what kind of video you would like to see next. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next one. Bye. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition, and templates, but only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack containing a compilation of 20 titles curated from our library. Link in the description below or at videodigitalstudio.com.